You know, one of the really great things about our hobby is there's a lot of crossover and we all have very different life experience that we get to draw on and really kind of add to what we're doing together. Some of them crash a lot. Some of them land really well. <laughs> and what we want to do is actually get better. Not at just being RC pilots, but we've been actually chasing after being a real pilot. Hopefully not crashing as well. <clears throat> well, we got a bunch of really cool stuff on the table here. Um, and the reason we've got some of this stuff here is because, I mean, we're chasing one of those dreams. Uh, we're both after our pilot's licenses right now. And, uh, you know, as part of that, it's really good to practice safely on the ground versus up in the air. And it's a lot cheaper to make mistakes. So in this video, we're going to show you exactly how we built one, how we put one together. And we're going to save you a lot of money on that. All right, so one of the things that we found as we started taking in and going after our pilot's license is it can get pretty expensive pretty fast. In fact, I'd say there's probably more people out there trying to either gold brick you or, well, sell you, I don't know, a bridge? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, it gets a little gray. And the hard part is, is there's no really great clear cut, here's the way to do this path. And uh, we've been kind of fumbling through some of this together. So not a lot's changed in our love for RC flight. Um, it's just, you know, you reach a point where you kind of want to upgrade, you want to chase after that bigger dream. And uh, I think we both hit that at the same time. So Zach and I are, we're going after that pilot's license. We're going after a hard and we're really lucky because we've got a buddy of ours named Casey who has been instrumental in helping us along that path. Absolutely, he's been great. It's been taking time uh, once every other week to come in and, kind of give us slight lessons through uh, either it's in the FAR AIM, which is the actual Federal Aviation Rules Regulations uh, book, or as well as the uh, numerous other books that we've had to buy to uh, learn exactly what the hell we're doing. So, And it gets pretty heavy. I mean, it does. It, it does and it's not light reading. But, and so to, to help us uh, navigate kind of some of those question marks in the road, we've kind of gone the route of a lot of pilots and then student pilots and building ourselves our own simulators. Um, you know, uh, this one you see right here, this is a bunch of commercial products uh, produced by Logitech. Originally, it was a, a company named Slaytech. And uh, this is a great system to, you know, cut your teeth, do some practice, learn how to taxi, take off, land, go through all your checklists safely great setup to do that and it's really inexpensive to make a mistake here versus <laughs> out on the runway right but speaking of expense as well this also is kind of an expensive rig to get up and a lot of people who have the know-how to make one yourself or just unclear in the instructions well we've decided to go ahead and make one ourselves too absolutely and this is kind of where we take some of our you know rc diy and we go well oh, we can do it cheaper better faster let's find a way to do it and well, we've done that. And so this is really good uh, as far as kind of representing old school planes, old school gauges, and all the different things that we can do with it. Uh, but really, modern planes are moving more and more and more to heavily electronics driven, fly-by-wire, glass cockpit. Um, and we've been able to take and produce one of those that we're gonna teach you how to do at a fraction of the cost of what this is. It's really incredible the little amount of work it actually takes to put one of these together versus the amount of work it took to put this together. <laughs> and this was already made together already. So we're gonna show you a lot of stuff that we've done. We'll give you some shortcuts that we've been able to take as well. Um, and man, it's it's a beauty. Well, let's get into that. Let's, uh, let's show the new one off. Yeah. So as you can see, this is our uh, flight board that we built ourselves, modeled after the Cessna 172 SP. Uh, it's got touch screens for both sides. This is the more modern glass cockpit that we were talking about. Mm -hmm. um, I'm able to touch any of these gauges as well. Um, it really simplifies how much actual input goes into the board where we had 24 different USB hubs into our original it's true. Uh, I can't believe how many, I ended up having to upgrade my computer to get enough USB uh, capabilities. Yeah. <laughs> That's not a joke. This is a, a pretty slick system in that we're, we're only a handful of USB devices here. Yeah, we've got three USBs and two HDMIs. 
Uh, well, let's see, we've got two in these monitors uh, because they're both touch screens. Uh, we've got two Arduino uh, Leonardos uh, in this. That is specifically for our switch panel and our uh, comm panel over here. Um, we'll be doing close-ups uh, of, of how to build this and the assembly of it here just, just in a minute for you, so stay tuned. As a person who has never done any of this uh, programming or soldering even, sadly, um, I was able to do a lot of this. Um, it's really simple. Uh, Jared's a great teacher, just bear with it and it's gonna be really easy for you to do. Yeah, we'll, we'll walk you through how to build one of these. Now, here's the other thing too. This is really actually really affordable. Mm -hmm. um, just one of those little gauges, the little Logitech gauges, uh, $139, yeah. uh, if I remember right. Um, $139, we get an entire screen. Now we're, we're running X-Plane for this, uh, for our simulator. And uh, again, the instrument uh, instruments just pop out of the, the cockpit and run on the different monitors. However, there are also great plugins and extensions for X-Plane that allow you to take in custom build classic gauge style cockpits using the same screens. So you really have a lot of flexibility in how you use this system. Absolutely, you definitely wouldn't be able to do this with any of the Logitech gauges no. that he had earlier. No, no. Uh, the other thing I really like about this, again, it, it's all touch screen. And so I can come up and, and interact with this just like I would. Uh, it, it's, and again, so much more affordable than flight hours just to learn how to use <laughs> the interface or the control in the plane, let alone learning to fly itself. No, this thing's been great. Now we did opt for a two throttle body mm -hmm. on this because on top of trying to flight sim, we do like flying our fun planes like a Mitchell or screwing around in it a multi-engine plane. Learning. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's still just as much fun. Um, so we did decide to throw our flaps. So this isn't exactly modeled after the Cessna, but this is true. Pretty close. Yeah. If you really wanted it uh, to be a little more accurate, you'd uh, you'd have the yeah, flaps yeah. over here. Yeah. And that's the nice thing is this panel, which you can download the plans from Thingiverse. Uh, we'll have a link in the description. Um, really easy to take and cut out. Make your own. You can choose where you take and have your various switches, controls, interfaces. And uh, a lot of these panels are modular too. In fact, we're going to walk you through how to build both the switch panel and the comm panel here. Uh, which is pretty slick. Yeah. So you can custom build your own simulator using really simple Arduino Leonardo little code that'll be available as well. Um, yeah, honestly, just completely open source. We want you guys to build one of these and enjoy the, the, the love of flight. And hey, a sim really is a good step on the way to that path. Absolutely. No, I've had so much fun and with really a lot of interesting things um, that you would be able to learn in the air, but you'd have to spend seven or eight hundred dollars just on fuel in the class alone for just the day. Learning that stuff where we can come in here, learn it on the simulator, and then really put our money to better use. Yeah, absolutely. One of the other things I really love about this setup, and I just learned about this the other day, is the new Microsoft Flight Simulator, which if you haven't seen this yet, it's gorgeous. Go look it up. Wow. Uh, <laughs> it's amazing. Now you're gonna want a, a pretty baller computer to, to push it, but wow. Uh, we are already future-proof. They've already taken and designed in the considerations for modular and removable multi-monitor setups for the components and whatnot. So you'll be able to take and use this exact setup, spending the time learning about how does an airplane really fly, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, we have this luxury where we can go take and buy a foam plane and we're flying it, you know, inside of a half an hour without a whole lot of care in the world. And, and a lot of people never really developed that full understanding of what's happening, why it's happening, and, you know, really how to fly an airplane. I have become a better RC pilot because of this. Absolutely. And we aren't just talking about basic air pressure. Like, there's a lot of stuff going on. Yeah. <laughs> and it's even funnier, too, because as we go through the, the, the schooling process, there's a lot of misinformation in the RC community. Yeah. We're talking about, you know, P factors and T factors <laughs> and all sorts of crazy ass factors. And guess what? Half of them are wrong, but people think they know what they're talking about. And you get the old guard and oh, watch out. <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about, right? Mr. Balsa Planes. <laughs> now, we get accused a lot, by the way. And I just got to, I'm going to take the moment for the rant. Please. I'm going to take the moment for the rant. We get accused a lot of opening a plane. We get accused a lot of putting together a plane, right? We, we build the planes, but yeah, they're foam planes. I get it. 
All right, we're not playing with matchsticks, glue, and, 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 and crafting paper. Well, that's because I crash them most of the time and I can't afford to put <laughs> <laughs> two months worth of work into a plane that I'm gonna crash within the first 30 seconds. Yeah. I mean, I, we, we, you've, you've all seen the videos, I'm sure you're here too. Uh, insert montage here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you like your choice of <laughs> so yeah, the, 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 the trick is we're doing this, we're going and doing our pilot's licenses, not because we're looking at it as a career, we're looking at it for something to do as a hobby for fun. fun. So for the next couple episodes, we're gonna show you how to put one of these together, mm -hmm. uh, how to machine the parts, how to program everything. So uh, yeah, Should be let's get easy. at it. Yeah, yeah. And, and even though it's a simulator, I'd say, you know, keep flying. Yeah, keep flying, absolutely.